Meow. Hi, it's Penny Bowden, crazy cat artist. I just love the look on this chunky, stocky kitty's face. Get those shapes in. Just kind of working out whether they're the right size or shape or not as I go. And I'm going at two and a half times the speed here and voicing over. Just want that real cobby look. This British blue cat. Just really aiming for a nice flow throughout to unify the drawing. And that kind of looking forward look. some initial lines in there for the eyes and these are fairly round eyes in the end I don't end up getting the exact look I wanted on this cat, but it's all a learning process. And I always gain some tips from myself with every sketch I make. Let's define those eyes a little more. Position of the highlight in the eyes can really go a long ways towards making the cat look in the direction that you want it to look. I like the look on the kitty's face now. You'll see me change it some and then change it back and these gesture sketches offer so much learning. Just suggestion of toes. And suggestions of fur here and there. And we're sped up to five times the speed now. We'll zip through this part. See, already I'm liking the look that I had before a very short time ago, more than the way the kitty looks now, so you'll see me fuss over it a bit. The simplest little lines can really change the expression. And the only way you find out really about that is by trying different things. Just play with the lines. If you don't like the looks, try something else. I'd love to hear from you, so please drop me a comment, tell me about yourself or your cat or where you live in the world, or tell me what you want to learn about cat drawing. This is where I get my ideas often from the comments. We're going to really zip through here now really fast. And then we'll slow down to add some whiskers. The direction of the whiskers can really add expression to your drawing. Thanks for watching.